Kia Exceed 1.5 TGD 2022 First Drive Amid the barrage of new Kia models being launched, just the past year has brought us the EV6, Sportage and Nero, the Kia Exceed may not be front of mind for everyone. It is a bit of an unusual concept, it's a taller seat hatchback, but the only body panels it actually shares with its sibling are the doors. Even so, it's much less of a SUV than the Nero, let alone the Sportage. Despite the Exceed's slightly confusing positioning, UK buyers have taken to it and made it Kia's third most popular model. And now Kia has given it a facelift, look out for the new, more technical LED lights at the front and rear, the revised grille and bumpers and the new mock diffuser. At the same time, Kia UK has taken the opportunity to rationalize the range. The diesel, the 1.0-liter petrol and the 1.6-liter petrol remain available in other markets, but over here, the range is limited to just two options. The volume seller is the 1.5-liter four-cylinder that replaced the old 1.4 last year. For the time being, it comes exclusively with a six-speed manual gearbox, but a seven-speed dual-clutch automatic is on the way. Company car drivers will be better served with the plug-in hybrid Exceed, which is unchanged and still combines a 1.6-liter engine with an electric motor and a six-speed dual-clutch gearbox. Its 8.9 kWh battery is good for 29.8 miles of electric running, and just 12% of benefit in-kind tax. Unusually for a plug-in hybrid, it's less powerful than the plain petrol model, putting out just 139 brake horsepower, 19 brake horsepower less than the 1.5. The trim levels have had a revamp, too. The hybrid always comes as a well-equipped 3, while the petrol retains the usual 2 and 3 trim structure but gains a sportier-looking GT Line S trim that's marked out by some black exterior detailing, more pronounced vents, a chunkier steering wheel and a pair of sport seats. We reviewed the plug-in hybrid at the European launch a few weeks back, so let's take a closer look at the petrol exceed this time. It almost feels strange to be driving a brand new car with a manual gearbox, but the shift proves an unexpected delight, feeling light but well-defined, short and snappy. That's a good thing, because you need to work it to keep the 1.5 on the boil. It's surprisingly boosty and needs some revs to feel its 158 brake horsepower. Below 3000 RPM, it can feel a little dead, which also makes hilt starts harder than they ought to be. Nevertheless, even when using plenty of revs, economy in the low 40s seemed easily achievable, a decent but unremarkable result. Aside from that, the updated Exceed feels like a Kia from a few years ago, both in positive and negative ways. The interior looks a bit plain next to the new Sportage and Nero, but it's well made with soft touch materials in the right places and you can't argue with the ergonomics, it has all the buttons you could wish for, there's lots of adjustment in the driving position, and the sport seats in the GT Line S are very comfortable. The standard items aren't bad, but the top trim might well be worth the upgrade for high mileage drivers for the seats alone. As always with Kia and Hyundai, the infotainment system is excellent despite its lack of wireless functionality for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. On the practicality side, the Exceed has a big boot with a movable floor, and space in the back is fairly generous for a family hatchback. Unfortunately, the Exceed doesn't quite exhibit the dynamic polish of Kia's best efforts. It rides quite firmly and crashes through potholes. Sticking with the 16 inches wheels of the lower trim levels takes the edge off but isn't a cure and they make the car look rather underwheeled. And anyway, most people will want the extra equipment of the higher grades. The Exceed is no hot hatch in the corners either. It steers pleasingly enough, but you don't get much of a sense of where the grip ends and it feels a touch unstable, with the rear end feeling softer than the front. When pushed, it can sloppily lurch sideways on a trailing throttle before the stability control catches it. Thankfully, the chassis mostly settles down on the motorway, and Kia's assisted driving features feel fairly mature. Annoyingly, blind spot monitoring is reserved for the top trim level, and you can't have adaptive cruise control on Exceeds with a manual gearbox. The refreshed Exceed starts from £23,345 for a 1.5 in 2 grade. That rises to £30,345 for a fully loaded GT Line S. 
The plug-in hybrid is available in only one spec, which costs £32,945. Kia doesn't do separate options in the UK, except for a handful of premium colors such as the rather fetching spirit green seen in the photos. Only a handful of manufacturers make a car like the Exceed, a style-forward crossover that sits between small SUVs like the Skoda Kamek and medium ones like the Skoda Karak. Direct rivals include the Volkswagen Tiroc, Citroën C4, Toyota CHR and Cupra Formentor. The Cupra feels like the more complete package, but is also a more expensive one. Even if you include small SUVs, the Exceed offers a lot of value for money. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.